Some people would still say, though, that, okay, mathematics is good, but why do it in pre-K? Do you really need to do it that early? I mean, I didn't have mathematics in pre-K, and shouldn't a child just be left to do a child? Oh, yes, a child should left, be left to be children, certainly. You know what? Children like mathematics. Children see the world mathematically. Herb Ginsburg uh, at Teachers College videotaped children when they were playing. They had no direction. Go play. Almost 50% of every minute of their play involved mathematics. It involved shapes, comparisons, enumeration, counting, comparing quantities, patterning, measurement, something in mathematics just in their play. Kids like mathematics. They see the world through these kind of pre-mathematical lenses. They might not think of it as mathematics. They might not have the mathematical knowledge to pull it out. But we as adults can look at it and say, they're just poised to do interesting mathematics. So when we do a puzzle, when we count things, when we see who's got more or who's taller, when we, when we say, how many of those did you do? How many blocks did you put on top of each other? You know, what did you, when you made this building, why did you make this side of the building look just like that side of the building? In other words, a symmetric building that kids might make. We're bringing the mathematics out of kids' everyday activities. Kids like mathematics. Now you still might say, yeah, yeah, but historically, kindergarten and pre-K, it was just play and, and socialization. Mm, no, you'd be wrong again. Let's look at the person who invented kindergarten. His name was Frederick Froebel. And more than 100 years ago, he created kindergarten. It was his, his invention. Everything those kids did was geometric. Those teachers who have ever taken a course in early childhood may have heard of Froebel and may have heard of his gifts and occupations. Well, his gifts were tiles. They were shape sets. They were building blocks, they were parquetry blocks, they were grids on tables, they were three-dimensional solids, and his occupations were build up th uh, the, these kind of three-dimensional solids to make certain kind of buildings, make a symmetric design, copy this design, extend that design, create a pattern. These were the kind of gifts and occupations that formed the original kindergarten. Froebel was a crystallographer, and he believed that God was in the details of geometric objects. And he used that as a foundation for his, for his kindergarten. Ever since then, the building blocks that we now see ubiquitous across kindergartens and first grades and preschools and the like, those were designed as teachers. All you have to do is think about it to know they've got a unit block and a double that and a double that and a half this and two triangles that make this block and everything else. They were designed to provide interesting experiences for children. Unfortunately, with some history going, uh, as, as the years went by, the math kind of got downplayed. And, and we've, we, we still think kids should play with blocks, but we've forgotten a, a lot of why the blocks were designed that way. Good curricula should help teachers get back to the roots that play and mathematics are not on opposite sides of the stage. They can be combined to the, to the benefit of children everywhere.